just in my house from here. Uh-oh. Uh, trying to slow down. I can't. No. Sorry. Mission control. Permission to land. Oh. Hi, friends. I just got back from space camp. We learned all about rocket ships and astronauts and planets and we Stars! Hi, Marty. Hiya, friends. Hey, Shine. I just got back from space camp. You look like you're still in space. Yep. I made this spacesuit. And while I made it, I talked with my friend about Easter. He said it was about candy and bunnies and eggs, but I think it's about Jesus, too. Candy and bunnies and eggs are fun, but Easter is all about Jesus. And that makes me think of a question. Who is Jesus? Hey, I think we should go on a Bible adventure to find out. That's a terrific idea, Marty. Friends, shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. Woohoo! Now, pretend to put on your adventure bags. Oh, I need a change first. Copy that, Mission Control. One second. Mission accomplished. Shine, do you know some picture passes that could help us? Sure do. Let's take a look in the trunk. Friends, you and I will be picture pass guessers together. Here's your first clue. This is something an astronaut wears to go to outer space. Hmm. Friends, which picture pass is it? <laughs> Great job, friends. It's the spacesuit. Friends, would you like to wear spacesuits and explore outer space? <laughs> Me too. Catch the spacesuit in your adventure bag. All right, Shine, what's the next clue? This is something a king or queen wears on their head. Hmm. Which one is it? <laughs> you got it! It's the crown. Catch it in your adventure bag. Now for your last clue. This is made out of wood and shaped like the letter T. Friends, which one is Shine talking about? <laughs> That's it! It's the cross! Hmm, I think the cross has something to do with Easter. I can't wait to learn more in our Bible adventure! It's going to be a good one. Catch the cross in your adventure bag. Friends, count with me. One, two, three. <laughs> yep, they're all here. Now, let's zip our adventure bags together. Friends, let's blast off like rocket ships. Ready? Three, two, one. Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly. fly. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Shime, how are we going to find the answer to the question, who is Jesus? Let's look in the Bible. It's a great place to start. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust it's right and true. A happy Sunday. This story is from the four Gospels in the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's all about the good news of what Jesus did for us. Come on, friends, let's watch. The religious leaders told the governor, Pilate, that Jesus was dangerous and wanted to be king. Pilate asked Jesus, is this true? I am king, Jesus answered, but not of this world. Jesus is innocent, said Pilate. There's no reason to kill him. I will set him free. But the crowd shouted, Kill him! So Pilate had his soldiers whip Jesus. They forced a thorny crown on his head. Then 
They laid a wooden cross on his back and led him up a hill. There on that hill, the Roman soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross, hands and feet. Then they raised it high. Jesus hung there between two criminals. Around noon, the sky turned dark. Jesus' friends wept. The religious leaders laughed and said, You saved other people. Why can't you save yourself? Forgive them, Father, said Jesus. When the time came for Jesus to die, he closed his eyes and said, It is finished. He had completed what he had come to do because of his great love. One of Jesus' followers, a man named Joseph, put Jesus' body in a brand new tomb. He rolled a huge stone in front of it. A long, sad Friday was over. Sunday morning, some women went to put burial spices on Jesus' body. They knew a big stone was covering the tomb's entrance and wondered how they would move it. When they arrived, the stone had already been moved. Jesus' body was gone, and there were angels in the tomb. Jesus is alive, the angel said. Go tell his disciples. The women told the disciples, and Peter and John ran to Jesus' tomb to see for themselves. All they found were Jesus' burial cloths. They went back home confused. Later, the disciples were gathered together in a room. They were talking about what had happened when Jesus appeared to them. They were terrified. They thought he was a ghost. Don't worry, said Jesus. See my hands and feet? It's me. Touch me. Go on. You can't touch a ghost, and ghosts don't eat either, but I'm feeling really hungry. So he ate some fish. Then he taught them. The scriptures are clear, he said. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die, and then be raised from the dead. Now tell the world what you have seen. Let everyone know that their sins can be forgiven if they turn to God. It's possible because of what I have done. What an incredible story! Jesus loves us! He always made good choices, but chose to die on the cross for our wrong choices. Don't forget the best part. Jesus came back to life. He's alive forever, and we can follow him. That's the best news ever. But I still need some help to answer the question, who is Jesus? Maybe Brit the Bible gal can help. Shine, you're one bright star. See you later. OK, bye, Marty. Friends, follow me. Hi, Brent. Hi, Marty. Hi, friends. It's great to see you. Look, Bible Bear loves the rocket ship you brought him from space camp. It's a perfect fit. Maybe he can come with me to space someday. Wow. Oh, Bible Bear, you made it. Oh, oh, wait for me. Maybe. He's still got a lot to learn. <laughs> me too. That's why I'm on a Bible adventure, to learn more about Jesus. I'm trying to find the answer to the question, who is Jesus? That's a great question, Marty. Let's see if your picture passes can help. Great idea. Friends, which picture pass is something an astronaut wears to go to outer space? <laughs> Super job, friends. It's the spacesuit. Britt, I know all about astronauts and spacesuits, but what does any of that have to do with Jesus? Astronauts wear spacesuits to live in outer space, right? Right. Well, Jesus chose to put on an Earth suit to live on Earth. An Earth suit? Yeah. Jesus has been alive with God from the very beginning. But we couldn't see him with our eyes. So, Jesus put on an Earth suit. That means that he was born as a human baby with a human body just like you and me. Oh, I get it. And Jesus grew up to be a man. He always made good choices, but died on the cross for our wrong choices. Why did he do that? Jesus died and rose again so we can choose to follow him. <sighs> hey, I know 
a verse that can remind us that Jesus wants us to follow him. Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Listen to what Jesus says in the Bible. Matthew 19, 14. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Friends, say the verse with me. Matthew 19, 14. Matthew 19, 14. Jesus said, Jesus said, let the children, let the children come to me. Come to me. That's it, friends. <laughs> now say the whole verse with us. Matthew 19, 14. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Great job, friends. Thanks, Britt. That verse will help me remember the good news. Jesus loves us. Grown-ups like us and kids like our friends can follow him. Happy to help. Bye, Marty. Bye, friends. Bye, Britt. Let's go, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Zania, you missed playing King of the Castle with us. Yeah, sorry. I didn't want to miss my cousin Lily. <gasps> Is she coming here? Not quite. She'll be up there. Huh? What do you mean? Lily is going to the moon. I'm looking for her spaceship in the sky. Are you serious? That's the most super de duper thing ever! Wait. Is that a space helmet? Like, a real one? It's real. Lily sent it to me. Hmm. You know, you're kind of quiet, Zinnia. Yeah. Lily going to space just has me thinking about Jesus. What do you mean? Well, instead of putting on a space suit to go to space, Jesus put on an Earth suit to come to Earth. He came here as a human baby and grew up into a man. That's amazing. That is amazing. Oh, and Jesus is also king of the whole world. He's the leader of everyone, grown-ups and kids too. He loves all of us. That's right. He loves us so much, he died on the cross to take away our sins. Now, we get to follow him and be his friends. That's awesome. I'm so excited. I'm gonna pray about this. Pray with me, friends. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much that you sent Jesus, the King, to earth to die for our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. What's that? Look! Whoa! Wow! Zinnia, the next time your cousin goes to space, can I come? Probably. I'll have to ask Lily if there's enough room on her spaceship. That's one small step for Marty, one giant leap for our Bible adventure. Oh, hi friends. I'm still trying to find the answer to the question, who is Jesus? But I've learned a lot already. The spacesuit picture pass helped me learn that Jesus lived on Earth in a human body. He always made good choices, but chose to die on the cross for our bad choices. Now he's alive forever, and kids and grown-ups can follow him. That reminds me of our Bible verse, remember? Let's say it together, friends. Matthew 19, 14. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Mission Control, I am on the moon. Shiny space sharks, that sounds like Mr. Music. Let's go see what's going on. Hey, Mr. Music. Hey there, Marty. Hi, friends. I'm pretending I'm on the moon with the new moon boots you brought from space camp. And now I'm ready to rocket back to Earth. Friends, let's blast off like rocket ships with Mr. Music. Ready? Three, two, one, blast off! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Mission Control, the eagle has landed. 
<laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Marty, why are you on a Bible adventure today? I'm learning about Easter. I'm trying to find the answer to the question, who is Jesus? I bet we can find the answer together. Let's start with your picture passes. Good call. Friends, which picture pass is something a king or a queen wears on their head? Friends, you're right. It's the crown. Queens and kings wear crowns to show they're the leader. Oh, yeah. And Jesus is a leader, too. He's the king of the whole world. You got it, Marty. Jesus is the king of grown-ups and kids. No matter how old you are, Jesus loves you and asks you to follow him. <gasps> Wait a second. What is it, Marty? I think I finally found the answer to the question, who is Jesus? All right. Well, let's hear it. Jesus is my king. That's it. <laughs> Friends, let's say the answer again, and I'll add a little music. Jesus is my king. <laughs> that was fantastic. And it reminds me, I have a new song for us to learn. You'll never guess what it's called. Okay, I'll tell you. It's called My King Jesus. Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? All right, let's start with the part where we sing My King Jesus. I'll teach you. My King Jesus, 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 my King Jesus. That was great. <laughs> Good job, friends. Now, sing with me. Jesus came to the world. Jesus came to the world. He always chose to do good. He always chose to do good. But Jesus died on the cross. But Jesus died on the cross. Because he loved me so much. Because he loved me so much. But then a miracle came. But then a miracle came. It happened on the third day. It happened on the third day. Oh, what a happy surprise. Oh, what a happy surprise. When Jesus came back to life. When Jesus came back to life. My King Jesus died for me to set me free. Now I can be his friend my king jesus lives again i can follow him he takes my sins away my king jesus my king jesus my king jesus my king jesus that was great <laughs> Jesus is king of the world. Jesus is king of the world. A king for grown-ups and kids. A king for grown-ups and kids. Jesus can be my king too. Jesus can be my king too. If I choose to follow him. If I choose to follow him. My king Jesus died for me to set me free. Now I can be his friend. My King Jesus lives again. I can follow him. He takes my sins away. My King Jesus. My King Jesus. My King Jesus. My King Jesus. Again, my King Jesus. My King Jesus. My King Jesus. Jesus, my King Jesus. <laughs> Good job, friends. Now stand to your feet to worship God with music, singing, and dancing.
God made all the kitties. God made all the doggies. God made all the fish swimming in the deep blue sea. God made all the birds flying high. He made lizards and snakes and crocodiles. But best of all, God made me. Jesus loves the kitties. Jesus loves the doggies. Jesus loves the fish swimming in the deep blue sea. Jesus loves the birds flying high. He loves lizards and snakes and crocodiles. But best of all, Jesus loves me. together for a great big sing-along. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Should be here any minute. Friends, let's count down like he's a rocket ship. Ready? Three, two, one, blast off! Whee! Hi, Marty! Hey, Shine! I can't wait to tell you everything about our Bible adventure! Did you find the answer to the question, who is Jesus? I sure did! Friends, let's say it together. Jesus is my king! Great job, Marty. Did you learn a new Bible verse? Yep, Britt taught us a good one. Friends, let's say it for shine. Matthew 19, 14. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Jesus loves all of his children, grown-ups and kids. We can all follow him. Did your picture passes help you? Oh yeah. The spacesuit reminds us that Jesus loves us so much, he put on an earth suit. He lived in a human body. He was born as a human baby, grew up, and lived on earth with people. The crown reminds us that Jesus is the king of the whole wide world. That's right. Jesus is our leader, and he asks all of us, kids and grown-ups, to follow him. Shine, I know Jesus always made good choices, but he chose to die on the cross for our wrong choices. What else do I need to remember? The best part, Marty. Jesus came back to life. Now he's alive forever and we can choose to follow him. That is the best part. And that's the good news we celebrate on Easter. Thanks for your help today, Shine. Do you want to put on spacesuits and head to outer space? Yes. First, let's pray, and then we'll play. Oh, yeah. Friends, bow your heads and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God together. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, our King. Please help us choose to follow him every single day. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. It's time to go. We'll see you next time. For another Bible adventure. Bye, friends. Phew! <sighs>